Welcome back, Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Today we got a real simple cook going on. Thanksgiving's just around the corner and I figured, why not whip out a nice turkey, get it on the Traeger. We have the Traeger warming up outside. It's at about, uh, we're cooking at 325. We wanna cook this until an internal temperature of about 165 degrees. I don't wanna burn the skin on the turkey. So what I may do is I'm gonna put the uh, probe inside there and what I may do is probably the last hour or so I'll take some aluminum foil and tent it. So let's get this guy going. So I went down to the local grocery store and I picked up this young turkey. I don't know how many of these guys make it into being an old turkey if they come from this turkey farm. So what we're gonna do, you know, some guys will brine their turkey. Take a look when you pick up your turkey at the grocery store because most of these guys already come brined. If you buy a butterball, it's already brined. If you buy this young turkey, it contains up to 9.5% injected solution of turkey broth, salt, sodium phosphate, sugar, flavorings with giblets. So they've already injected it. You don't want to over brine your turkey. Just my opinion. So we'll open this young turkey up. Kind of bothers me a little that it's young. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna be really careful to take it out so I don't spill nonsense all over the kitchen. Pull it out of its bag here. Set it right up on the platter. And we'll take this guy, just dump it in the sink for now. That was actually pretty good. So, one of the things you want to do, you want to take these guys out. They're nasty. You don't want any of those. And then you want to take this thing out too. You don't want to get that, leave it in there. What I am going to do is drain it off because there's a lot of liquid coming out. And then we'll we'll get this all ready to prep. So Earlier today, I whipped up a nice uh, Cajun injection. So what we're gonna do, as I said, I didn't put this thing in the brine for a few days. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this thing here, we're gonna inject it right into the meat. We're gonna hit all areas of the meat on here. Again, we're cooking at 325. We've got the uh, Traeger warming up with uh, pecan wood today. I just happen to love pecan wood and I think it'd be really good with turkey. We'll get some in the legs. It's not gonna take as much as the breast did, but we'll get it in there. We'll get some down here. We'll get some over here. I think it's gonna be delicious. I will put the recipe down below that I used. I just found it on the internet. I've used it before. A lot of times when I do a, a turkey, I just do a simple maple syrup and butter marinade. 
you check out my uh, turkey breast video, you, you can see that. I'll put a link to that at the end of this one. That one goes really good if I'm having family over. They really like it. Their turkey a little bit on the milder side, so we'll do that. We'll inject this in a couple more spots and then we're good to go. All right, we got a lot of injector in here now. So we'll take this, move that out of, out of the way. Then what I decided to do is we're going to take an onion. We're gonna cut the onion in half. We're gonna peel the skin away. And peel this away. You don't have to be perfect. If you break the onion, who cares? All we're doing is we're using this onion to add a little bit of flavor to the turkey. We're gonna put it right in the cavity here. Where we pulled all that deliciousness out. So we'll put a whole onion in there. And then we're gonna take some of these Granny Smith apples. I'm just gonna cut it in half. You're not gonna eat it, so actually I'm gonna quarter it. And then we'll put these guys in here. All you're trying to do is get some of that aromatic flavor out of this. So we'll stuff that pretty good. And put another apple. We have a cat that kind of wants to get involved in the video today, I think. Put that in here. We filled that cavity up pretty good, so I'm gonna cut this onion in half and put the onion down here. Now when this guy comes off, all we're gonna do when it comes off is we're just gonna throw this stuff away. So the idea is just to give it a little extra flavor. Now that cavity's going pretty good. Uh oh, I think we got a little too much, but that's okay. So now we'll take this guy and we'll wrap it back up. Actually, let me get that plastic out of here. We don't need this plastic in our food. Sometimes these guys can be a bitch. There we go. We got that out. Now we'll get these apples back inside. Well, maybe. That's pretty good. Not gonna fight it. So now what we're gonna do I decided that I could put some rub on here. I could put some pork and poultry from Traeger. I could put anything. However, since we're going Cajun, this local barbecue restaurant up in the Northeast here, Dinosaur Barbecue, has this spice rub, Cajun Foreplay. Oh, is it delicious. So we'll just cover this guy with it. Yeah, you don't have to go too crazy. The idea is you just want to get some color out of it and a little bit of flavor from it. Spin it around. Get this side of the turkey. This will help make your turkey nice and golden brown. Ah, much better. Look at that.
All right. There we go. We'll get this guy out to the Traeger. All right, so the Traeger warmed up to 325 degrees. Time for us to get the turkey on. So we're just gonna make it real easy on ourselves. Slide this guy right off and right into the center of the Traeger. We'll come back and check this uh, probably in a couple hours. All right, guys, so Mother Nature has really gotten a little bit upset and it's raining really, really hard out here. So it's become time to uh, take the turkey off. I just checked it with an instant read thermometer and we're at about 166 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy off and bring it inside and let it rest. We're back inside the kitchen in our turkey. We let it chill for about an hour, chill, wrong choice of words on that one. We let it rest for about an hour. I don't know if you can see the steam pouring off this thing, but this guy looks absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, dive right into this thing. Wow, the moisture, the juice in here. As I might say, and I already did once, wow, amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut a nice piece off right here, just to give me a taste to see what we think. I know you guys can't really smell this thing, but I think you just saw the juice. Look at it dripping right off. Unbelievable. This is the most moist turkey I think I've ever made. And I've done quite a few. Uh, let's give this guy a shot. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> that, absolutely breathtaking. This turkey, highly recommend you guys follow this recipe. Unbelievable. This needs to be your Thanksgiving turkey. Wow. Thanks guys, if you uh, like what you see, click that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell thing so that you can see what we're doing next week. Unbelievable. This is simply amazing. I really don't think I've ever made anything so moist. Unreal.